my little friends and welcome to Wednesday craft day with coach Nicolette today we're going to be making sensory bags what you will need for today's project is a ziploc bag doesn't matter what size some gel or aloe I have some aloe cooling gel right here I also have some glitter I'm going to add to my uh, sensory bag and also some leftover bells I had from a previous craft. I'm going to put, I dropped one. <laughs> I'm gonna put inside my bag, all right? So you don't need bells, you just want to have some type of bead or buttons, um, you can use rice. Anything that's hard, the kids can use to push the um, gel around in the bag, all right? So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna open up your Ziploc bag, okay? Take your aloe gel, or any type of gel, and you're gonna put it inside. Make sure you get a lot in there. All right, I think that's good, okay? After, make sure you Close your gel so you don't spill it everywhere. Okay, now we have a bag full of gel. What you're gonna do next is take your glitter or your beads or buttons, whatever you wanna put inside of your sensory bag and you wanna put them in there. So I'm gonna take some glitter and pour that in there. That was a lot of glitter. <laughs> Now you're gonna take your other stuff and add that in, okay? All right, so that's my glitter. Now I'm gonna add my bells, say goodbye to the bells. They're gonna be all gross after this. All right, and plop them in there. Okay, so this is what my bag looks like. I haven't mixed it up yet. We got some gel, we got some glitter. Then we're gonna seal our bag. Make sure you do not leave any air inside your bag okay you want it to be nice and flat okay seal it up nice and tight and then you're gonna mix it around all right you're gonna mix it mix it mix it awesome so what i have here now is a beautiful glittery looks like a mermaid mermaid bag okay Parents, if you are nervous about handing your toddler or baby a Ziploc bag full of gel and you're afraid that they're going to open it, I have a trick for you. So the top of this obviously is plastic. So after you seal it nice and tight, you're going to get a lighter or some flame and you're going to burn the plastic top all the way across. I'm not going to show you that, but... You're gonna burn it so that it's nice and melted and then you're gonna push it together so that it closes. Don't burn yourself. But after you do that, it will be sealed so that way your toddlers or little ones cannot open their sensory bag. Once you are done with your sensory bag, what you can do is you can put it down like this and then push it and try and find your bells. See, I found my bells. Where's my other ones? Oh, there's another one there. Here's another one. All right. So here's my sensory bag. They're awesome to play with. They're great for de-stressing. They're great for downtime, calm down time, or they're just great to play with. They're super fun, super squishy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you liked it and um, follow us on social, social media. Facebook, Instagram, Metro Salt Gymnastics Academy. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'd love to see your creations and your pretty um, sensory bags. So tag us on social media if you take some pictures. All right. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Bye, friends.